For many people, a cancellation notice means more than the loss of an insurance policy. It means losing access to the trusted doctors, pediatricians, nurses who care for their families. Millions of Americans across the country are receiving cancellation letters just like this one. They like their plan. Some Washington politician shouldn't be able to say, I don't think it's good enough, so I'm going to take it from you. Remember a few months ago when the Republican Party, the right-wing media, and movement conservatives were apoplectic about people having their private insurance plans canceled? In the early days of Obamacare implementation, private insurance companies were sending out letters telling people their plans didn't comply with the Affordable Care Act. Many of these letters informed people they would be offered better coverage for the most part at comparable cost. Still, the feeling here was that there was nothing more terrifying than to have health coverage one day and have it be taken away by an arbitrary act of government the next. Now, if you thought this conservative outrage and deep concern for people whose health plans were being canceled was a wee bit disingenuous, we'll take a look at the news that's coming out of Arkansas right now. Tea Party conservatives in the state's legislature are rallying to try to take away private health insurance plans from an estimated 100,000 low-income residents. People were part of the state's compromise Medicaid expansion, which was specifically crafted for Arkansas to please the state's Republican lawmakers. Last year, the feds let Arkansas use federal Medicaid dollars to buy private health insurance for its low-income residents, something that's been dubbed the private option. This move was a testimony, in a lot of ways, to the incredible solicitousness this White House has shown to get red state politicians to agree to federal funds for Medicaid expansion. A Democratic governor and a Republican legislator took the money, and now 100,000 people are expected to have signed up for health care plans by next week. But now, those 100,000 people taking advantage of the private option are at risk of losing it when members of the Arkansas General Assembly convene on Monday. That's because a supermajority must approve the federal money for next year, which means just nine lawmakers in the Senate or 26 in the House could block the appropriation and kill health care for 100,000 people. And if they succeed, then tens of thousands of letters would go out to the people who had gained coverage in January, informing them that it would come to an end on June 30th. It seems to me that every Republican and conservative who spent all of that time throwing a fit about cancel plans should be up in arms about the thought of it happening in Arkansas.